So let's talk now about how to name acid. The, since the uh, acid is always H, okay, oops, leave that there, is always H and some anion, then the name of the acid depends completely on the name of the anion. Anions can end in ide, right, like nitride or sulfide or cyanide. They can end in eight, like sulfate or nitrate or phosphate. And they can end in ite, like sulfite or nitrite or phosphite. So they're all this is how we decide how we're going to name our acids. So they can all these are the three different ways that anions can end. If an anion ends in eight, the acid ends in ic. Okay? So for instance, if I look at H2SO4, the anion in there is SO4 2 minus, and that is called sulfate. That means the acid is called sul furic acid. Okay. H3PO4, the anion in there is called phosphate. Okay, see all these eights are going to be polyatomic ions. So this is going to be phosphoric acid. Okay. Um, HNO3, the anion is NO3 minus, and that is nitrate. So this is going to be nitric acid. Nitric acid. Alright, so sulfate, sulfuric, phosphate, phosphoric, nitrate, nitric. If the anion ends in ite, the acid ends in OUS. So for instance, if I have H2SO3, the anion is SO3 2 minus, and that is called sulfite. Again, these are going to be all polyatomics. So this is called sul sulfurous OUS acid. Sorry, that wasn't very neat. Let me be a little neater here. H3PO3. The anion is PO3 3 minus, and that's called phosphite. Right? Ends in ite. Acid ends in us. So this is called phos. Good golly, I can't I can't draw today. Let's try that again. Phos for OUS, phosphorus acid. HNO2, NO2 minus is called nitrite. Ite becomes us, so this is nitrous acid. Okay, so again, these are all polyatomic acids, uh, polyatomic ions. Ite becomes us. If it ends in ide, it, it's a hydro and an ic. So H2S, the anion is S2 minus, and that is called sulfide. Okay, these are mostly just elements that are become uh, monatomic ions, sulfide. So this becomes hydro sulfuric acid. Okay. H three N N three minus is nitride. So this becomes hydro nitric acid. H what's how about HCl, right? Cl minus is chloride. Right? So hydro chloric acid. How about if we need to go backwards now? Remember, ic comes from eight. 
So chromic acid came from the anion chromate. Okay, so what's chromate? Well, chromate is CrO4 2 minus. And since it's 2 minus, we need two H pluses with it. So that chromic acid is H2CrO4. Hydroic comes from ide. So this must have come from selenide. Okay, selenide. And that is Se2 minus. So this must be H2Se, hydroselenic acid. OUS. Now don't confuse hypo with hydro. That just says hypo. OUS comes from ites. Okay, so this must be from hypochlorite, which is ClO minus, so just one H, so HClO. Okay, this is going to require some practice, but those are the general rules.